probably part of the Forged Friendship questline is to kill a Lieutenant Serapes. So he's a big old um, Cyclops, basically, uh, in the Forged Lands. So uh, we're just going to hop down here. And we're going to actually start the fight. How I like to start the fights is uh, because I got my axe upgraded pretty well. I like to run up and sprint and use the uh, sprint axe attack to actually do a good amount of damage and uh, do a chunk of um, stun to him as well. Now, Serapis is like, I never really figured out a, a really good pattern for this guy, and I ended up using probably a lot of pomegranates to do it. Um, I will tell you one thing, he throws the rocks. Sometimes they're heat sinking. They're like, they're just locked in no matter what you do, you're not dodging them. Like, I've seen them look like they curve and hit me. So, he's got a couple of attacks. One is he picks up, like most Cyclops, he picks up uh, rocks and uh, throws them. He has that smash to the ground. Typically, he does two of them. I've seen where he only does one. He also has a, a foot smash, too, as well. Um, so that and then there's a swipe with the uh, right hand, I believe as well. You can tell like the, the the foot that smashes has a bandage on it and the arm that smashes has a bandage on it, I believe. I don't think he does it with his left arm. He does it with his right arm and his left foot. Um, I didn't quite figure out what the pattern was necessarily. Um, see that he only does the smash once there. Sometimes he does it twice. Now, when you're far enough away, he does throws the rocks. If you're not that far, he doesn't throw the rocks. There's an example. I felt like that one was like, no matter what I did, I was not going to dodge it. There's a smash to the ground, and there's a second one. But that other time, he only did one of them. Once he does an attack, then you run in and hit him once and run out. That's basically our uh, modus operandi. That's how we're going to operate. We're going to go in there. We're going to use the arrow to shoot him in the face a little, few times. Here's a rock. Do I dodge this one? Oh hit me square in the thing with like he tracked me down it wasn't like he threw it where i was it like that was a heat seeking rock there's one smash is another smash now you have these pillars lying around too that he smashes and knocks over you can use those as well up oh, didn't get out of that in time this is actually a pretty long one for me i just i couldn't figure out a, a necessarily a pattern or what i want how i wanted to beat him he only stomps with that left foot and then uh i did a good dodge there so he got, uh, as you can see, when he, gets, he dodged, he stuns, but then he hit me there. So run away and uh, eat your pomegranates and stuff. And as usual, there it is. I finally used my attack pot and a defense pot. Should use those more. I, I hardly ever, like, I, I'm getting better at using them, but I always forget to turn them on. The best thing you do, especially with the Cyclops, is uh, run in, hit him once, run out, run in, hit him once, run out. Because um, typically they don't have long range other than the, um, there I stunned him. So hit him, run out, run back in and hit him, run out, run back in and hit him. This is, I'm, I'm using that, um, the sprint, uh, sprint hand, um, axe attack. I use one of these columns to throw them at him. The problem when you use the columns though, um, it used to, I used to like doing that when I was a uh, lower level axe. I didn't have much ability. The problem is you use a lot of your stam up with that. And you need stam to dodge and stuff like that. There, I dodged that one. That wasn't a heat-seeking one. Run out of the way of the foot. Now, ideally, what you'd want to do is when he's doing the foot attack, basically stay on his other side. And he's not going to really hit you with the foot. I mean, it does. Ha it is an AoE, but you can stay far enough out that it's not going to hit you. So I should attack the um, the left foot, not the right foot, and he's less likely to hit me. There's a swipe. Oh, he killed. He hit me. He one shot me. But luckily, we have Aphrodite's uh, blessing, which gives you the um, reincarnation once every 20 minutes. So I got lucky there. But now I can't do that again, unless the fight takes longer than 20 minutes, and it doesn't. Yeah, this is not a good idea to use this stuff. Now it does do a good stun, but you can see I, I end up uh, using a lot of stam. So. I think after I hit, uh, using Aphrodite's Blessing, I'm a little afraid to actually go in close again and uh, get hit in one shot. But mostly, you do most of your damage by when you stun him, you can run in, in with the axe. Um, you do a lot of good damage when, when he's stunned. That was far enough, he couldn't hit me. He's shooting him in the head a lot with the uh, arrows. You see, it's like it's barely doing any of his 100 damage. It doesn't do a lot. I did 646 with that axe hit. Ah, see, that was a heat seeking one. There's no way I was dodging that one. I actually was in the process of dodging when he threw it. 
and I think I probably should have dodged. I don't know if I needed to wait a second longer to dodge, or should I have dodged earlier? I don't know. It just, I felt like, no matter what I did on that one, he was, he was going to hit me. Almost stunned again. Like that, like I swear, like sometimes I like, I feel like there's no dodging it. This should stun him. Oh, he hit me. He's stunned. I should, and I take a health pot, do some damage. 779. When he's stunned, run back in, hit him again. And I should get the hell out of there and start healing myself up with the pomegranates. Here's a heal pot. And a stand pot. And I take another attack pot. And another defense pot. I gotta pay more attention to those because I do more damage, obviously, with that. I was able to dodge that one. Do more damage with the attack pots and take less damage with the heal pots. Attack with the right arm. Get out of the way. You can see it glow. And he does the double fist punch. There's one, two of them. Oh, he's doing three. See, now there's three of them. So, like, that's what I mean. Like, most of these, these guys have, like, a pattern. I just feel like I haven't figured this one out. I end up one-shotting him. But, as you can see, like I said, usually I like to try to figure the pattern out. Like, does this, this, this. And now you go and do the attack. And you get this, 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 this. Do the attack. Do this, this, this. And attack. But this guy, I feel like it's kind of random. I'm sure there is a pattern. I just never figured it out. Or it could be my movements are chaotic enough that it causes him to do different things. And that could be the case. Oftentimes, if you keep doing the same thing, that's why I like a lot. I like, you'll watch me a lot of times run around in the same direction. Because I think once you switch directions and do different things, it triggers uh, different patterns for them. But if you do one thing, they keep doing the same pattern over and over again. So, like, try to pick one direction. I'm, I'm swapping back and forth, but try to run, like, clockwise or counterclockwise or one or the other. You did three of them there. It also could be a time thing. The further in the fight, maybe he just starts doing three of them. We're getting there. We just got a little smidgen of health left. Remember, I don't have Aphrodite's uh, blessing, so he hits me one time with that smash. It's probably going to kill me. A lot of these attacks don't do it. Like, they'll knock you down, but they don't kill you. But, like, if he hits you with the foot or he smashes with his hand, that's almost like a one shot. Keep an eye. So when he throws things at you, you can dodge it. Stay far. I think if you stay far away, too, the um, less likely for those things to hit you. Can't be too many more hits now, huh? Oh, it's gotta be one more. That's it. Alright, therapy is down. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button below. And if you leave a comment, if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to see more content like this, then please smash that subscribe button. Also hit me up when I'm live over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash maniocrity. Fresh stream Friday. Saturday and Sunday evening, Saturday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Till next time, you know, immortals. Happy hunting.